Hello developers, in this video tutorial I am going to teach you how to install MinGW-W64 using MSYS2. Actually MinGW-W64 is a compiler which is used to compile C and C++ codes. Okay. I am going to teach you how to install MinGW-W64 to run C, C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. Okay, let's see how to do it. I have given these website links on the video description. First you have to download MSYS2. Visit the MSYS2 website and click the download installer button. It will automatically download the latest version. It will take a couple of minutes. Please wait. The software is downloaded successfully. Now I am going to install it. The setup wizard is opened. Just click next again and again. You don't have to change anything. It is installing. As you can see that the installation is successfully completed. Now I am going to run the program. Okay. Now I am going to install MinGW-W64 using one command. I have also given the command on the video description. So don't confuse, just copy the command from the video description and paste in the program. And hit enter. It will automatically download MinGW and the tool set. If it is showing enter a selection, then you don't have to type anything, just hit enter. Please note that, just hit enter. It is asking again, so I am hit enter again. Now it is asking proceed with installation. You have to type Y, caps, capital Y, then click enter. Now it is started to download the packages. As you can see that the total download says is 209 MB. So it will take some time. If you have a high speed internet connection, then it will run immediately. As you can see that instead of 124 packages, 62, 65 packages are installed in my operating system. As you can see that almost 119 packages are installed. That's it. It is successfully installed. Now it is checking keys and the package integrity. It will take a couple of minutes. As you can see that it is almost completed. Now it is checking for file conflicts. It done quickly. Now it is processing package changes. It will take a couple of minutes. It is almost done. Please wait. That's it. Install is successful. Now I am closing the window. To check whether the MinGW is successfully installed or not, I am going to use this commands to check G++ space hyphen hyphen version when i hit enter you can see that it is uh, written the some lines it means the c plus c c plus plus compare is successfully installed you can use another command to check as you can set, uh, see that uh, this command also returns the same if you receive an error uh, like uh, internal or external command error then it means you forget to add uh, the path to the environment variables. So make sure you have added the path to the environment variables. Go to environment variables, then click path, then edit. As you can see that the MSYS64 is installed on local disk C. Inside that you can find MINGW64, mean GW64. Then go to the bin folder, then copy the path. You can see that CMSYS64 min GW64 slash bin. I have already added the path to the environment variables. You can see here. 
that's why it does not return the error otherwise you will see the error okay that's it guys now i'm going to run some basic c c plus plus program in visual studio code I have already installed the Visual Studio account on my operating system. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit operating system. To run uh, and uh, execute C, C++ programs in Visual Studio code, you have to install one extension called C slash C++. Go to the extensions tab, then install the extension. After that, install another extension called Code Runner, which is used to run C, C++, Java, PHP, Python, other programming language files. You can see that it is already installed in my operating system. Okay, now I'm going to create a basic C, C++ program. First, let me save the file as basic.c++ on my desktop. Hash include I will stream using namespace standard semicolon int main int a equal to 5 semicolon int b equal to 15 semicolon int c equal to a plus b semicolon finally i'm going to print the output using c out C semicolon return zero semicolon. Okay. You can find the run option on the right side of the window or use the shortcut to run the program. You uh, control plus alt plus n. When I click that, you can see here the output is successfully printed 20. 15 plus 5 equal to 20, right? okay but if you uh, take input from the user then the program will not execute correctly you have to do one thing before that i'm going to change some codes inside the program int a comma b comma c semicolon then i am going to get the input from the user c out enter two integers semicolon c in a and b semicolon then c equal to a plus b semicolon finally i am going to print the output c out the addition of two integers or C semicolon that's it I saved the file now I'm going to run this program you can see that it is running and it is asking the input from the user enter two integers but I cannot type the input I'm trying to type the input such as 5 but I cannot type the input to fix this you need to do one thing go to file then preferences then settings search run in terminal and scroll down little bit you can find code hyphen runner run in terminal tick this checkbox then close the window then save the file and reload the visual studio code to see the effect okay now i'm going to run this program when i run you can see that it is now running in terminal instead of output it is asking the input from the user i'm going to give the inputs 5 and 12 5 and 12 equal to 17 that's it guys i hope this video tutorial helps you to install mingw w-64 and run C, C++ programs in Visual Studio Code. If you have any doubts about this tutorial, then please leave a comment. We will help you. 
and if you want to receive more up updates about C and C++ then don't forget to subscribe this channel.